Welcome to John Paul Academy Art and Design lesson. One part of the lesson today is going to be focusing on how we record our skills. In every lesson in the department, we are encouraging the development of lots of different thinking skills as well as practical skills. This is what's required to become a successful learner. The second part of the lesson is going to be looking at how we all can create an amazing piece of artwork based on positive and negative space. During this lesson, we are going to be focusing on quite a lot of high order thinking skills. We're going to be creating, we're going to be evaluating each process step by step. We're going to be analysing our work as we work along it. We're going to be applying the skills that I'm going to show you today. And we're going to be understanding how positive and negative shapes are very important to design. On top of that, we're going to be practising good communication skills. Hopefully I'm communicating well with you today, but you're going to be communicating a visually back to me. We're going to be using digital skills and you're going to be photographing your work and sending it to me. You're going to be problem solving throughout the process. You're going to be using your leadership skills. How do we use our leadership skills? Well, we are ambitious. If you want to be do well, you need to be ambitious and you need to challenge yourself and make sure that the work that you're doing is the very best that you can do. We're going to be team building as well. You're going to be, because of your good communication skills, you're going to be building a very strong learning team in John Paul Academy. You're going to be working with your family. You're going to show them your work and they're going to give you some advice and that's going to strengthen your relationships as well. This is the equipment you will need to take part in this lesson. Pencil, pair of scissors, a rubber, a ruler and two pieces of paper that contrast. Now this can be two different colours or it could even be a plain piece of paper and a pattern piece of paper. For this experiment I'm going to use a piece of white paper and a piece of black paper. It's also good if you've got some glue, but it is not essential for you to create this piece of work. Firstly, the first steps of this is to make sure that you have your small piece of paper cut absolutely accurately. I've made mine 10 centimetres square. You can make yours bigger or smaller. Don't make it too small because you'll make it find it difficult to cut out. Now, starting at the top corner, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a pencil to draw a pattern or a line. Now, it'll be quite difficult to see on the black paper, but you'll be able to see yours better than mine. So here I'm drawing really just quite a wiggly line. Right Now, you will be able to see your line. As this lesson is about positive and negative shape, it's really important that you think about the spaces between the shapes that you draw. Don't make them too near each other, but think about that as a separate shape itself. So on this other line, I'm going to come right into it. I'm keeping it quite a wiggly line. And I'm coming out. I'm coming down to the bottom here. So all the shapes are going to work around the angles. Now this time I'm going to change the shape and I'm going to make it a bit more zigzag. But I'm also considering, I'm going to curve here, how this shape works along the side, that shape. So I'm looking at the spaces between my shapes as well. And then I'm moving around. So each part has a shape drawn. Now I'm ready to cut my shape out. So I'm going to hold the piece of paper with my thumb, so I can see the thumb here. I'm going to have my scissors and it's really important that we're going to be cutting 
using the V point, you know, at the end of the scissors. So hold the piece of paper and cut along your line. Now, notice how I am turning the shape. I'm turning the paper, not really moving the scissors very much. So turn along your curves and along your angles. What you don't want to have is a ragged edge. Make sure your cuts are got a lovely smooth edge to them. What's really important is do not throw your pieces away. Leave them on your blank piece of paper. So I'm going to continue this. You have a little bit more time than I do to do this. Keep twisting the paper. And think about the, the words that you're using to describe these lines as well. Are they undulating? Are they jagged? And that way, not only are we creating and demonstrating skills, we're going to be um, improving our vocabulary as well. So when we're finished, we should have a little shape jigsaw the good thing about using the black paper is that if I go over my lines nobody can see them by me or me just make sure you don't throw anything away and here I am off into the last of my shapes no matter how good or bad you think you are at art this is a great lesson because everything you create Everybody's going to create something really good. No matter how simple your shapes are, you're going to have something that's going to give fantastic visual impact. So just persevere. And you may want to do more than one before you post off your finished idea to me. So we have a greater understanding about positive and negative shape. So this is a positive shape and the space left beside it is a negative shape. This is a positive shape and this is a negative shape. So the space next to objects or around your objects become very important. Now, that could be you finished. You could take a picture and send me that. That would be brilliant. However, if you want to challenge yourself more, we can take it a step further. And we do this by taking one of your positive shape, shapes and you could work into that and draw another shape. But when you're doing this, make sure you're still considering the shape that you're leaving. So I'm going to do something a wee bit more contrasting. going to draw a kind of jagged shape. Now I'm leaving all my other bits in the one position that way it stops you getting kind of muddled up. Sorry my fingers are in the way here. And I'm going to cut that shape out. And I'm going to put this one back. Putting that into position and then I'm going to flip that one that way and we're starting to build and make our design more interesting i'm going to cut i'm not even going to draw on this one i'm just going to cut a shape so i'm going for a kind of contrasting shape which is a more like a semi-circle i put my original shape back down and the shape i've removed i flip over so every time we cut something, we're flipping it over in the opposite direction. Last one. Now this is a wee fiddly shape, so I won't go crazy with this one. I'm making life difficult for myself. Again, we're developing our skills with the scissors. We're developing our thinking skills. 
We're developing our creating skills. And we're communicating our understanding of positive and negative shape visually. Remember, when you send me your images, you are developing your ICT and digital skills. These are all important skills that you will require for the workforce of the future. Again, I've got my shape and I'm going to flip it over. Now, if you want to preserve that, you take a photograph of it. I'll just move that over a wee bit so you can see it a bit clearer. And that is your positive and negative no time pattern repeat. Have fun. Go and create. Another one of the skills that we learn in the art department is about evaluation. You can see how I've evaluated it against black and white, which look great, but look how changing the background of this same design totally transforms it. Attached to this little video, there is a PowerPoint which will show you step-by-step -step instructions. So, and you will also see some examples of how positive and negative shapes are used in some successful designs. Thank you.